In this video, you're gonna learn how to get this epic Halloween sword in Minecraft. Watch till the end to see all of the abilities the sword provides. Okay, so before we can move on with the abilities, you need to create two scoreboards. One called ability and the other one called time. Just press these buttons or type the command into the chat. Sorry, the commands, I mean. Then we need the actual trigger. This command block here tests if we have a diamond sword with a data value of 1. So that means a diamond sword, sword which, which has been used one time already. And then, if this is the case, it randomizes our ability score from 1 to 3. This command block is chain conditional and always active. Then it adds 10 time to our timer. Basically it just sets the time to 10. And then we get our diamond sword back. So it can't break. Okay, now we still need to get rid of the time over time. Which can be done using this command and then adding a delay in ticks of 20. This command is activated once a second and removes one time from each player that has one or more time. So, And this command block just resets the ability of every player that has time zero. Now this command block here is essential because this command block does not randomize our ability if our ability is between 1 and 3 or it is greater than 1. This means that if we have any ability active uh, and we hit with a sword then the durability is going to be reduced and we don't want that. This would break the whole system. So we need this command block that just gives us a new sword every time we hit while any ability is active. I guess this makes sense. The first ability is called Bat Swarm. It summons bats that attack nearby mobs. And now let's get into the commands. First of all, you need this title or command which you can just copy and paste. You can change this text here but I think you probably know how to use title or commands. If you don't, write a comment. So no, that's probably the wrong command block to start with. Then we need this command block that just summons a bat that's called vampire two blocks above us if our ability score is one. And it's important to add a delay in ticks of 10. Otherwise, you've got way too many bats. Then, all of the bats get a time of 10 unless they already have 0 time or more. So they just get a time of 10. This makes sense, I guess. This command box on chain conditional and always active. Like all of this, of those greenish, the turkish ones, whatever. Now, this makes the bats attack, or better, damage the other mobs that are in a radius of 1 block. And this only works if the bats are called Vampire. This technically also would work for everything else called Vampire, but I don't think you've got any other entities usually with that name. If you like watching so far, leave a like, join my Discord server, it's linked in the description, and subscribe. So, this is for movement. I think you can just copy this. So you can't uh, really make them move towards the target, but you can make them teleport towards the target, which looks like moving, basically. And then this thing here removes the time from the vampire bats, or bats, or whatever, and it has a delay ticks of 20. So the time is for the uh, demise of the bats. Let's just say it like that. If the bats have been there for 10 seconds, they instantly die. Otherwise this ability would be way too OP. The next ability is Pumpkin Mode, which you could already see at the beginning. This ability applies many positive effects to the player, but also decreases their sight. This is also 7 command blocks only. Let's start with the title row again. I think I don't need to say much about this. 
So then, if we have time 10 and an ability score of 2, we're gonna get a carved pumpkin, which we can't remove in any way. This pumpkin is removed later on, which you could see. And this happens if we only have time 1 left. So this command is for regeneration, this command is for strength, this command is for speed, and this one is the blindness part. So uh, it's important that you make this number here greater than 1, because otherwise, well, it doesn't look good. Let's just keep it this way. The next ability is called Spider Transform. It sets the time to night and turns every nearby mob into a cave spider. You'll see, the amount of command blocks is pretty low. Again, that's the title row command, so you see which ability is active. This causes every mob to test for a player uh, with an ability score of 3 in a radius of 15 blocks, and if this is the case, it summons a cave spider. This basically does the same, but instead of summoning a cave spider on a successful result, it just kills the actual mob by teleporting it into the void. Then the time is set to midnight, and if there is any player with an ability score of 3 that has time 1, then the time gets set to day again.